Hello, hi, my name is Jordan Curbs, and today I will be playing Laura from Nightluster and Titania from Midsummer Night's Dream. I don't think that people see me. I get this feeling sometimes like I'm invisible or something. I can be standing there in a room and I'm talking and the words aren't getting anywhere. And I look down at myself and Jesus, my, my body isn't getting anywhere either. It's like I'm standing behind a one-way mirror and I can see the guys and I can hear the guys but they can't see me and they can't hear me and I start to wonder maybe I'm ugly or something maybe I'm some species from another planet but I don't know this you see Maybe I, I don't speak the same language, and I look totally weird. But I don't know this, because I had a really nice mother who told me that I was beautiful and that I had a voice to die for. So I arrived here on Earth, and I was so filled with her love and her belief in me that I walked the streets like I was beautiful and like I had a voice to die for. And because I was so strange and so deluded, people pretended to listen because they're being nice or something or, or, or maybe they were afraid of me. But I didn't know this because I had my eyes closed. Then one day, I decided to open them. And I found out that I was living in a world where no one sees me and no one hears me. What angel wakes me from my flowery bed? Pray thee, gentle mortal, sing again. Mine ear is much enamored of thy note. So is mine eye enthralled to thy shape. And fair virtue's force perforce doth move me to say, on the first view, to say, to swear, I love thee. Thou art as wise as thou art beautiful. Out of this wood, do not desire to go. Thou shalt remain here whether thou wilt or no. I am a spirit of no common rate. The summer still doth tend upon my state. And I do love thee. Therefore go with me. I'll give thee fairies to attend on thee. And they shall fetch thee jewels from the deep. And sing while thou on pressed flowers dost sleep. And I will purge thou mortal grossness so, so thou shalt like an airy spirit go. I'm going to open this now.
Since brass, no stone, no earth, no boundless sea, but sad mortality o'er weighs their power, how with this rage shall beauty how hold a flea, whose action is no stronger than a flower? Oh, how shall summer's honey breath hold out against the rackful siege of battering days, when racks impregnable are not so stout, nor great, no gates of steel so strong, but times decay? O oh, fearful meditation, where alack, shall time's best jewel from time's chest lie hid? Or what strong hand can hold his swift foot aback? Or who is spoil of beauty can forbid? O oh, none, unless this miracle have might, that in black ink my love may still shine bright.